Um, okay, uh, moving on. Ralph Capera. We'll get to Facebook in a little bit. Ralph Capera says, I've been re-watching old Star Trek uh, the original series, and have noticed that the episodes are routinely 50 minutes. Newer fare, like Mad Men, are in the 42-minute range. As a writer, what do those extra eight minutes, 15%, mean to story arc and character development? That's a pretty good question, actually. It's not the length, Ralph, that, that's a trouble. It's the breaks. So you have to write for the breaks. And I actually think that makes the script better. I really do. I think it makes it much better. Because basically, in, in that in that... Uh, 50 minute hour you have to you have to present four cliffhangers you have to present four dramatic turns that are going to get people back after the commercial break and um, and the original series had those four breaks and you can you can just see them you just think back on an episode dun, 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 and go to commercial and you come back and get the answer um, so I think most people get in the hang of, of writing Certainly the professionals who did most of the writing for Star Trek had by that point gotten very used to uh, the format for a, a dramatic uh, hour on network TV. Um, the only thing I have to say about the, the limitations of the time and stuff and shorter than that is, is that um, when I was editing Sunday Morning Shootout for AMC, I did 170 episodes, something like that, and that show had to be 23 minutes 30 seconds to the frame, to the 30th of a second. And um, and that was a bit challenging, actually, because you have a little bit of, of cushion space in terms of the of the credits. You can run those a little longer, a little shorter, that kind of thing. But to get it to the to end on that second was um, was was really kind of challenging, but but again, once I got the hang of it, it was yeah okay, just no problem. Just kind of letting the air in and out of a balloon kind of thing. And I need to cut four seconds out of something. I'll just take this one remark or whatever the case. And so that was that was pretty much it. Um, I don't know whether we're. It, it seems odd to me that the show times are shorter now than they were then. I would have thought. I would have guessed that there would have been more commercials back then. But um, when you say newer fair like Mad Men are in the 42-minute range, uh, I don't know. I mean, surely Mad Men didn't air with commercials. I'm, I can't imagine. Uh, I've seen episodes on YouTube, but uh, it's a network show. I mean, I mean it's a um, paper, uh, pay cable show. So I don't, I don't imagine they had commercials in it, did they? I, I don't know. don't know the answer to that. But um, one thing I do know is that uh, the golden age of television that people talk about in the, you know, with... No, oh, I don't know. Steve Allen, all, all you know, your show of shows, all that stuff. The golden age of TV is um, is now. Really, the the one show that changed, I think, if I had to pick one, the show that changed television forever. Uh, forever and turned television into something that not only could match movies but in in many ways surpass them, um, was The Sopranos. I think The Sopranos. Um, I think that show really changed things. I have to say, I'm just glance at the comment section, and uh, Laolas AOC says, "Oh wait a minute, sorry, sorry, it was Stout Cat." Breaking news: Nancy Pelosi's son was an exec at a gas company that did business in Ukraine. Well, isn't that interesting? I don't know if it's true. But it would explain the hysterical um, reaction, and um, anyway, uh, that's that. So, move it on because we got a lot of ground to cover. So I've just been given some instructions that I missed an important question, and I will refresh my browser.